Okay, welcome back. It's been a little while. We had some stuff going on, but we are now going to do part three of this. If you guys remember, we did do, we finished this side, but we decided together that we didn't want a boat with just a flat nose on it because that doesn't make any sense, right? There, we looked it up, how many boats have just flat noses and there's a whole zero of them. So there's gotta be a reason for that. So we're, we took this, we took these screws out and we're gonna kinda frame in something that moves at like, I don't know, like a 45 degree angle in the front here. And then we're gonna focus on getting the sides and hopefully most of the bottom on today. And then we will have something that looks kinda like a boat. I think it's gonna rain. Yeah, it's probably gonna rain throughout the day, but we're in the garage. So we should probably get all the lumber out of the truck. Probably be a good idea. Unless we want it to be rotten. It's not going to rot from getting wet you never one know. time. You never know. <laughs> I, I do know. He gave you that idea, didn't he? No. Oh. You didn't do the let's go thing. Oh. Let's go! <laughs> Put all these two by fours back here. This is fine. Yes. All right, so we we're gonna make we're gonna kind of frame a front on this. So this looks like a good angle there. That's thirty degrees. That should be plenty for what we want. So we're gonna get this all cut up and then uh, we'll frame in a front. I think I have tendonitis. This go right here. Tendonitis? Yeah, my ears are just ringing all the time, making me like th sick. It's not good. Tendonitis. Yeah, tendonitis. That's your tendons. So it's not You mean my tinnitus? Yeah, tinnitus. You have tinnitus. Tendonitis. It's like the same thing. <laughs> it's with, totally not the they same. They both start with T's. <laughs> Close enough. Decent. Very flush. Go to that side. That's fantastic right there. I think this looks way better than before. Yeah. For sure. Well, I think it's actually gonna act the way a boat is supposed to on the water. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I actually really like that. Yeah, dude, this looks nice, man. Okay, so now we got a decent angle on it. Um, I mean, it's strong. I can pick the whole boat up just using that front end, so I think that's gonna be pretty strong. Put a couple more runners in here, and <clears throat> I think we're gonna do the, the side and the bottom and then the other side. I don't know if we have enough plywood today to do all of the bottom and the sides, but this is a whole lot better. What do you think? Oh, yeah, I think it's way better than just leaving it like flat. Because now water will actually hit the front of the boat and yeah. travel the direction that we want the water to go. Yeah, it's going to look really nice. I feel like if we left the boat flat in the front, it would have had really excellent stopping power, though, because it would just... 
Boom. into water. But this is way better, I think. No, definitely 100%. All right. We had to take this side off because we adjusted the front of the boat. So that's why all that glue's on there. That's good. Cock it up. Hell yeah. Let's get some. Oh, we're gonna have to cut that. So what we did, cause this isn't the same as we just put it up against here and then marked the inside. So we marked the inside with a line, the angle that that goes with. And so we're just gonna cut that and then it should fit right together. <laughs> pretty good now we'll route the edges off So we got the front fixed up where we actually have like an angle to it. That took a little bit of our time today. We expected to get more done today, but because we decided to change the front of the boat up, uh, that ended up taking us a couple hours longer. Got the sides on, so the sides are glued. They are complete. Nothing else is coming off. At this point, we have our final frame of what we're gonna put everything on or attach everything to. That was not a smart thing to say. Uh, next video, we plan on putting the front on, the back, um, the supports for the back, and it's gotta be real thick because obviously it's gonna be holding a motor, and then we're gonna put the bottom on. And then hopefully, when we get done with that, we'll be ready to sand and apply fiberglass. Hopefully the next video will be getting done with the front, the back, and the bottom. If not, we did something wrong. I don't think we did. No, no I think we're good. It's coming together pretty fast. I mean, the whole thing, it ain't that heavy couple hundred pounds and you'd expect it to be a lot heavier because it's fully made out of wood there's about five tubes of glue in here already she's gonna float i'll tell you right now it's gonna float and around the outside is gonna be all fiberglass everything's gonna be sealed up there's gonna be no way that water can get into this thing except over the edges i guess it's gonna be an actual which if boat. that's happening we're doing something wrong go fishing do whatever we want hell yeah you know what I mean? 
Thank you all for stopping in and watching part three next week. I know it was a while, but we're going to get this next video out uh, soon. So next week we'll get part four out for you guys. And uh, yeah, make sure if you don't already support the channel, hit the like button, subscribe if you like the content so you can see more of the dumb things that we do. And you will be seeing us do dumb things in a this boat. A lot of dumb things. And uh, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks. Peace.